In this video, we'll create multiple DMP3 outstations in DTM. To create new outstations in DTM, I right-click on the DTM workspace, select Manage, and Add. I want to group my substations together, so I'm going to select Folder. We'll name the folder DNP3 Outstations. Folders allow us to group similar stations together. We can then take action on all of the stations in the folder at the same time. For example, we can set up data simulation on all of the outstations, or set up polling on multiple masters. We'll show examples of this in future videos. Once the group has been created, I can right-click on the folder and select Manage, Add, DNP3, Outstations. This opens a dialog which lets us configure the device. We can click through the various tabs and see different configuration options. For this demo, we'll use the default selections on the Device, Channel, and Session tabs. On the Database tab, we currently see the default database configuration. If desired, we can clear the database using the Reset Database button. We can also use the Add Points section to configure points in the database. For example, let's add two analog input points. We can also use a comma-separated value, or CSV file, to configure the point map of a device. Here we can see a CSV file. Notice the first row describes the contents of each column, and each subsequent row contains configuration information. In this example, we're only configuring two digital inputs, representing the breaker state and the breaker failure indication, and one analog input point, representing the phase A current. To load this file, I select Import Database from CSV File, and in the subsequent browser dialog, I select the file and click Open. Notice the table in the Database tab is now populated with the points described in the CSV file. The Advanced tab allows configuration of items that are not usually changed. Once again, we'll just take the default values. On the Multiple Devices tab, we'll select the multiple device radio button. We want six outstations for this demo, so we'll set the number of devices to six. Notice that the table is populated with configuration data for each device. Here we could change the device name or other information. Note that by default, the devices start with the port specified on the channel tab, in this case the DNP3 default port of 20,000, and increment for each device. We'll just use the defaults for this demo, so we could select OK. However, I'm going to cancel and show how we can use CSV files to configure multiple devices. Using a CSV file allows us to configure multiple devices at the same time, even if their configuration or database differs. Here is a sample CSV file. Notice that the first row describes the contents of each column, and each subsequent row contains configuration information. For this demo, all of our devices are configured the same. However, we could just as easily enter different values in the columns for each device. Note that the final column links to a CSV file to configure the database. In this example, I've linked each device to the sample CSV file shown moments ago. However, we could just as easily have different CSV files for each device, allowing each device to have a different point map. Let's select the Create Multiple Outstations radio button, and then the Load Configuration from CSV file and select the configuration file. The devices and configurations from this file are now shown. When we click OK, the devices will be created. Now we have six DNP3 outstations with a customized point map configured from a CSV file. In subsequent videos, we'll configure masters to communicate with each of these outstations and look at various ways to simulate data in the outstations. 